illegal and unreported fishing can cost up to $23.5 billion a year. That's the equivalent of every one in five fish being caught illegally. It's a problem worth solving. We've been set up to help businesses right across the economy make better use of space technology. As we were establishing ourselves, we realised there was an enormous appetite for better awareness of what was happening out on our oceans. Pew Charitable Trust set themselves the goal of ending illegal fishing within 10 years. We've been working with Pew and their user communities to better understand what the problem is and how we can apply the technologies that we can bring to bear to help solve their problem. Any official in any port around the world should have access to enough information that they can make the right decision about a fishing vessel trying to enter their port and be aware of whether there's been any illegal activity in the history of that vessel. There's very few, if any, applications outside of the military where this level of data is brought into one place. Lots of this data already exists, but it's not being shared. And it's the power of sharing that data that will make the system work. What we're seeing here is the global state of fishing. If an analyst or harbourmaster wishes to know the vessels operating in their area, they can view them in a list. If they wish to locate a specific vessel on screen, say by name, by MMSI, the vessel's identifier, or by flag, the system can quickly filter the list allowing easier analysis. The system can also bring up the history of a vessel and in the background can gather and visualise the alerts that occurred along that track. Previously it took a team of analysts 18 hours or more to analyse the data and be able to find a vessel of interest. This system brings together all of those data sets in less than 18 milliseconds. At some point on this journey, the vessel switched off and switched back on its AAS transponder. A notification of speed indicates that it was moving at a speed indicative of fishing. Vessels far from home often travel as part of a group. We can update the map. We can see the other vessels in the area of the same flag each of them fishing vessels and that they appear to be fishing in the same area. We can also show the topography of the ocean floor which indicates the presence of sea mounts and similar features. An experienced fisheries analyst can estimate the types of fish in such an area and cross-reference with the fishing licenses the vessel holds. This big data analysis platform has been designed to support the fusion of large satellite data sets with a variety of supporting data. Data sets will include synthetic aperture radar, optical images and infrared spectrum. As the system develops, machine learning algorithms will be applied to analyse vessel behaviour in real time. The software has been designed to be scalable from this virtual watch room right down to an individual sitting at the end of a port in a developing nation. We have a platform that other people who are interested in what are going on in the oceans, they can use to look at new insurance modelling, new ways of modelling traffic flows in and out of uh, maritime ports, and a, a vast array of other options, other ideas that people are having about how they can take advantage of better knowledge of what's going on in the oceans. This is all about space technology delivering benefit to real people in the real world right now.